and it's true, yeah, I think, I think I'll be fine once I get that one explanation or under a better understanding towards that situation, because I see, you know, like, my thing is, over the years, you know, I put in a lot of work, I put everything into my art, everything into my profession, my passion, my writing, and all that, and I don't, and for some strange odd reason, you know, I don't have... It's like I have it, but I don't have it. The respect, the honor, the proper esteem, you know, the fame, you know, the things that I worked hard towards and that I, I rightfully earned, you know, throughout my life. And for some reason, it seems as though it's unattached to me, you know, like, it's, you know, I mean, everybody is, I'm on the same level as all these other individuals, you know what I'm saying? Like, when it comes to um my passion and everything, you know, and so what I sought this answers, you know, because I need, you know, I said, it has to be a rational explanation, one that makes sense to me and bring me a better understanding to a new reality. That's all it could be, you know, because, you know, there's no way that I've ever seen anybody work that hard, you know. And then it's then yeah, for them not to, you know, like where, you know, the clout, the, the, you know, the esteem, everything like that, you know. It's what I have, but at the same time, I don't have it. And I don't understand why that is, you know. I put in, you know, I have work. That's not, you know, that's not right. And I feel as though once I get the answer to that, that missing piece, then I'll be good, you know. Depending on what it is, you know. That's true, that plays a large factor. And depending on the reason, you know, as to why that's the case, situation. I mean, I have my ideas, but I want solid answers, yeah, you know, but by no means, you know, shall I ever give up, though, you know, because either I have the answer, you know, or I have the esteem and everything restored to in the proper way that it should be, you know. Those are the only two ultimatums, you know, um. But as for me, though, you know, I never give up. You know, I'm always going to increase in intensity or whatever I have to do to things are made right. Like, I don't understand it. You know, I'm not asking nobody for nothing, like, you know, in, in that way. But I'm asking, you know, I'm just wondering and demanding that I be esteemed, you know, in accordance to what I've earned and worked for. Like, you know, as I name these qualities, you know, as whatever value attributes that comes along with hard work and success, all of that of which I rightfully earned, but for some reason I don't have it, you know, like, it's the weirdest thing to me, you know, and I really don't understand why that is, why don't I have what I work for, what I've gained, you know, it's for me to work so hard towards my goal and make it to the top only to find out once I made it to the top, someone or something or for some kind of way, all of that, all of that came with that accomplishment was taken a snatch from me for no reason, you know, like, I, you know, that, 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 that doesn't make sense to me. And I, I'm a logical thinker, you know, and logically and rationally that, that does not make sense to me. Like, that doesn't happen to everybody. That doesn't happen to everybody, you know, everybody else, you know. And so my goal now, you know, I need that answer. I need to know why that is. Why wow, that's the situation. What is that missing link there that separate me from the fruit of my labor? You know, that's that 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 link there, you know, I don't understand. Like where is it, you know, that, that separate me from the fruit of my labor, which my hard work and ingenuity made a way to and created that bridge to, you know, that success and that level, you know. That will be, you know, restored, you know. You know, because I'm not going, like I said, I'm not going away. I'm not going anywhere, you know, because uh, either way, whatever the case is, then it's, a, it's, it's ob obviously a result of, of the, you know, some type of distorting of reality, you know. So either way, it wouldn't be right or probably not legal anyway. So, you know, I just I want to know what, you know, what exactly that would be. And then once I find that out, I'll be all right. I feel like I'll be good. That's got to be my closure, you know, depending on what it is, the explanation for it. But something, you know, I need, I have to have something to work with. But, you know, I never give up, though, you know. 
But that's where I'm standing at with this. I don't understand it, you know. Respect, esteem, clout, fame, you know, glory, honor, you know. All of those qualities and things seem to have been stripped away from me. Like, for you know, like, it, it makes no sense. The work is there. The talent is there. The passion is there. The dedication is there. All of that is there and excelled way past the point, you know, of any disputes, you know. But for some reason, all of that is not on it. That's not something I can't, you know, I can't accept that, you know. I can't just accept that and live with that and, and allow everything I work hard for to fade into obscurity. No, you know. No, never. Never, you know. And so, yeah, I'm on the understanding. That, and like I said, you know, I have no problem with uh, with comeback, you know, um, as far as like spiritual warfare. God shows us the right way we have to fight. So when it's time to fight spiritually, it's no problem. So I have no fear or no worries for that, you know. I'm really not really. My life belongs to God. Even death is gain. And my time will be up when he's ready for me to come. So I'm not worried about that, you know. But once I realize, you know, and if it's a situation like that, something as petty as that, you know what I'm saying, then it will be all out war. You know, I'm just that's just a little for that. So God forbid it's something like that. But nobody, nobody has the right to stick their hands into your 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 passion and fruit, you know, and all that. And take, you know, and, and, and strip anything away from you that they didn't give you. You know, that's not no, no. <clears throat> that's not that's not reaping what you sow. If you sow nothing but hard work and things, you reap those fruits that's, that's, you know, of its own kind, you know. No, I'm not for the, no, you don't, you don't sow good, healthy seeds, grow a healthy tree, you know, and then all the fruit, right? No, no, you know, I mean, Satan tried to, if Satan Satan comes to kill, steal, and destroy, he did something to your fruits, you know. Or he, or he took the fruits. He did. He still killing. You know he does. That's his goal. His only purpose. And if that has, that has happened to me, I got to get that back, you know. And I will get that back, you know, by any means. If it caused the destruction of whatever did it, then I'm fine with that, you know. But because it's ungodly, you know, for that to have happened in the first place. You know, but it's no problems and no worries to me. I don't fear death. I don't fear no kind of, you know, retaliation or nothing. You know, it's, it's just going to be over with. You know, understand me. You know, you know that's going to be restored. That link, that, that space that separated me, cut me from what's mine will be, you know, restored. You know, that's, you know, if fans are blessed about it. You know, I don't understand why it was going in the first place because, me giving in the journey and the path I said I don't had no correlation with anyone that would do it. So therefore it was no initiative, you know, there's no catalyst for that, you know. And that's all I'm saying. Something go be, you know. You know, it's going to be some mountains mood. You know, I promise you that, you know. God wills, you know. God wills it. And, you know, I'm going to stay in righteousness and obedience to my master. And, you know, through his strength and power that he vested in me, you know, I will fight and battle, you know, no matter what. And I'd never give up or back down nothing. Because what's mine is mine. You know, no no one or nothing is worthy. Nothing or no one is worthy, you know, enough. You know what I'm saying? To make that kind of decision for me, you know, give it my identity and the light and everything. No one is worthy for that. You know, I will, I will single-handedly destroy, you know, false kingdoms. And false arguments and all of that. No one is worthy to make that kind of decision for my life. They don't know. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it goes deep. You know, it's a lot that I could say about that, you know. But I'm letting you know what it's going to be and how it is going to be, you know. Because that's what it is. That's how it is. And that's what's going, you know what I mean? You understand, you know. 
But I, I'd rather just let action do my talking, though, you know. But as you understand, that's where my head at regarding this situation. You know, that's like the final piece for me. You know, I understand other things. But now on this on this journey of terrorism, persecution, you know, all types of things, you know, that I've been put through in the past couple of years, you know, that's like the missing piece, that link right there. Once I get that, I'm good. But there, you know, I, I'm. A, I gotta, you know, it's it's something missing. Something ain't right. Something shaky. And I'm getting to the bottom of it, you know. All right, yeah, I'm up out of here. Just know, you know, Dexter in it for the long haul. I'm in it for the long haul. Believe me.